everyone, and welcome to Season 3, Episode 24 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches in ECW history with match number 27 on our list, which is the contest for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship between the champion Masato Tanaka and the challenger Mike Awesome from the December 31st, 1999 edition of ECW on TNN. So this is the second Tanaka and Awesome match that has made our list so far, the first being their match at Heat Wave 98. Um, we will talk more about this series as time goes on, um, but here uh, we have Masato Tanaka defending the title against the man he won it from just one week prior on ECW on TNN, Mike Awesome. Um, if you watch these matches, if you remember in the Heat Wave video, I talked about how although all of the matches are very similar, right? You see a lot of variants on the same spots. They all kind of have a, a similar structure. There are so many nuances and callbacks and changes to what they've done in their previous matches that every single match these guys have feels fresh because it's, it's built upon their past encounters. And this match is no different. So one week prior, Tanaka upset Mike Awesome in an impromptu match to win the title. This match on New Year's Eve was their original match that was scheduled, the one on Christmas Eve, was not supposed to happen. I look back on both of these matches very, very fondly from watching them live at the time, uh, specifically the Christmas Eve one, but this New Year's one as well. So even though, you know, I was disappointed that uh, Awesome would ultimately win the title back in this contest when, you know, I was quite the Masato Tanaka fan at the time, uh, it is a great match and it's got uh, quite the ending to it uh, that we will talk about momentarily. So again, we get the change up that these guys always do. So Awesome is pissed. He lost his title when he wasn't even expecting to defend it the week prior. He immediately jumps Tanaka at the bell and immediately hits his big dive out to the floor um, and wastes absolutely no time. In the Christmas Eve match, uh, uh, Awesome gave Tanaka a running Awesome bomb off the ring apron through a table that was bridged against the guardrail outside the ring. Awesome goes for that right off the hop. Tanaka has it scouted though, hits a big backdrop on Awesome from the apron to the floor, and then follows up with a big dive off the top of his own. Um, once we get back into the ring, classic Awesome and Tanaka stuff here. Uh, Masato Tanaka, tough SOB, he's got that hard head. So Awesome, you know, like always goes for the chair shots. Two big ones that are no sell sold by Tanaka. Awesome immediately goes for the gut. He's not wasting time by continuing to go to the head. He goes for the gut. It, uh, it hunches over uh, Tanaka. And he goes for the top rope chair shot, which is kind of that like piece de resistance that he normally finishes off that sequence with. But here, again, Tanaka has it scouted. He counters it with a drop kick. And then just in a great juxtaposition, one chair shot from Tanaka to the head takes Awesome down, drops him completely. So Tanaka can absorb these chair shots, but he can give them out just as well as he takes them. Awesome doesn't have that same hard head, doesn't have that skill, and gets dropped with just a singular chair shot. Um, when uh, we follow that up with, again, Masato Tanaka going for broke, how did he win the match at Heat Wave 98 with a Tornado DDT onto a pile of chairs? He goes to that. It's only good for two. He follows up. The sense of urgency in this match is incredible. He hits basically like an elbow drop while holding the chair off the top rope onto Awesome, who's got another chair on top of his face. Only good for two. And he follows that up with Diamond Dust, his signature maneuver for another two. So rapid move, 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 kick out, kick out, kick out. And they establish, like a lot of these guys' matches, you know it's not going long. It could end at any time with one big maneuver. Uh, awesome goes for the German suplex. Tanaka no sells that as he normally does, but in keeping with this sense of urgency, rather than, you know, take a moment to, you know, develop his plan and think of what his next move is, he rushes in with a charge and gets met with a sky high from Awesome. So again, a take off that normal, you know, German no sell. Normally it's Tanaka back on the offense, but here it gets cut off. Um, we get a table in the corner. Awesome goes for an awesome bomb through it. Tanaka slips out of that, goes for a German through the table, which is a spot they've done before. Awesome blocks that, hits the awesome bomb finally through the table in the corner. Only good for two, but at this point, Tanaka is on the ropes. Um, we get uh, an attempt at a super awesome bomb through a table, which was the finish to these guys' match at November to Remember 99. Uh, Tanaka counters that into a wild tornado DDT 
off the top rope through a table, which was crazy. It was only good for two. And then he blasts Awesome with the Roaring Elbow, which was the finish the week before and how he won the title. But this time it's not enough. Awesome absorbs the Roaring Elbow, kicks out at two. Tanaka has hit all of his best stuff. All of the different ways he's finished Awesome off in the past, they are not working. He goes for Diamond Dust one more time, but he goes to the well once too often. Diamond Dust is countered into an Alabama Slam. Awesome hits the Awesome Splash, only good for two. And again, not wasting any time, follows up, takes Tanaka to the top, and hits a reverse Awesome Bomb. So basically a sit-out power bomb, but while facing out to the crowd and jumping backward with the power bomb, it was absolutely nuts. And it's enough to put Tanaka down for the three. It was the awesome bomb off the top that finished that November to remember. It didn't work for him here, so he hits it back the other way, and it's enough to put him away. Uh, this match is wild. It's short. It's compact. It's got a title change. It's got a hot crowd. It is these two firing at each other, guns ablazing with maybe the most rapid pace of any match that they've had. It is fantastic. But... Icing on the cake, we get an amazing post-match here. So, little Spike Dudley, who is someone we have not talked at all about in this series, but we will. Um, he had established for over a year up until this point that despite his small stature, he is a giant killer. He had taken out big man after big man after big man in ECW. And the next big man that he had set his sights on was the ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Mike Awesome. The week before, Spike Dudley came out, confronted Awesome and his manager, Judge Jeff Jones, and it is Mike Awesome gorilla pressing Spike into the crowd onto Tanaka that led to that impromptu match between Awesome and Tanaka on Christmas Eve. So Spike comes out for his revenge. Um, while him and, and Awesome start to brawl, uh, Spike Dudley had had a, a little girlfriend. Uh, so there had been a fan in the crowd that had been dressing as Spike Dudley for a number of weeks. Uh, the two had started to develop a romantic relationship. She hops the rail, comes in, hits the acid drop, which is Spike Dudley's finisher on Judge Jeff Jones. After that happens, Mike Awesome sees it and proceeds to clothesline the hell out of her, knocking out her teeth. So she comes up spitting out blood. This causes Spike Dudley to lose his mind, go on the attack for Mike Awesome, who catches him, throws him over the ropes through a table as the show comes to a close. Perfect television. You get an awesome main event, and you get this crazy post-match angle with a hook to watch next week. You can watch my videos here on YouTube by subscribing on the channel. You can find this match on the WWE Network. It might be on Peacock. You can find it online. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50, and join me again tomorrow as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50. Top 50.